All right, let's talk. So I joined a server called the Gavin SMP, where a group of friends got together and made a knockoff Dream SMP uh, because we're stupid and we do that kind of stuff. Um, it first started off as a normal survival type world. Uh, we before before I joined, uh, they set up a uh, they set up rules, right? We can only have three countries. Go to war. Normal things like that. We weren't planning on recording anything like that. But I wanted to share a few things. Uh, one of my friends, Sleepy Blanket, already made a video about this, but I'm going to go more in depth with this video. Um, and this is the story of Phelan, the second SMP. So I first joined the server. I wanted to be rogue. I wanted to be rogue. I wanted to be alone. I had really cool ideas for what I wanted to do in the server. Um, but I was invited to Phelan's by Skeptic. We wanted to set up a country with the iron grasp of the server. So we called ourselves Phelan's, which means Iron Land. Uh, it was a cool play on the word of Ireland, and uh, Phelan being the atomic uh, name of iron. So we're like, oh, cool, be a cool name. Uh, we put some more meaning into it. Uh, first thing I wanted to do was build an iron farm. I worked on it. First one did not turn out good at all. Ruined it, wasn't good. It would not work. Uh, I think I built it too close uh, to the ground. I should have built it 20 blocks above, and that was my fault. Uh, so we kind of scrapped that idea, and we moved because we had some issues with Pog, who were living right next to us, and decided burned a house down so we wanted to go to war with them. We had decided from the very beginning we wanted to take them over. We wanted their land. We wanted to kill them. As I said before, we wanted to move. Uh, we moved around 15,000 by 5,000, both negative. Uh, there was an old woodland mansion. Uh, we wanted to build a base there. I built an iron farm that actually worked. I was really happy about it. Um, it took me a couple hours to build it. Uh, getting the village up there were a pain in the butt. Like, holy crap, villagers are the worst. I used water elevators. That's what I used for most of my stuff, getting villages up. The zombie was the easy part because you can find them anywhere. We had name tags lying around, so I didn't have to use a helmet. So that took me a couple hours, uh, but I got it working. Uh, so I was able to AFK there for a while. I think I spent 40 or 50 hours AFKing there. I got five uh, five shulker boxes full of iron blocks. I was real happy about that. Uh, we built giant roads out of iron, and I put some daylight sensors up. It was really good. Uh, at that time, Skeptic was not very active on the server, and that's when the server kind of calmed down a little bit. Uh, but then we had a new player join. Boy, did I hate him. All right, so once Shazam joined, he kind of joined with Gavin. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure on it, but he joined with Gavin because he, Gavin told us my, his base cords. Good-looking base, cool cobblestone walls. Uh, he had a, a gunpowder farm that he was working on. I sabotaged it like three times. Uh, I kept putting torches in it and uh, breaking some of the trap doors and, you know, messing with the water. But uh, there are a couple things. Shazam lived in a base next to him. In, I know this because I used I had thousands of invis pots because I I, I I played too much I have no life I spent hours getting those and I'm so happy I did because I found out that Shazam wa was on his team or Gavin was helping don't know the exact details uh, and when I found that out uh, I think give it, Gavin declared war on us he blew up our main house our little hut that we built at the beginning in Old Phaland which is the base that we first moved him to around zero I think it was 107, 207, I think that's where, where the cords were, kind of there. Um, it was it was a it was a cool looking base. We had, we worked on obsidian walls, but we moved out before we could finish them, uh, because there's just so many things going on. Uh, uh, example the uh, people in bandits. I'll get to that soon. Uh, so they blew up our base. They burned it down. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Gavin signed his name on it. I first thought it was Shazam at first, and Gavin proved my point by saying it was. But then Gavin told me later on, I think it was a couple months ago. That was uh, him, and I got real mad. Uh, but before that, uh, I thought it was Shazam. Uh, I declared war on Pog because I knew that Shazam was living with Gavin. So like, you know what? I'm not going to let this guy get away with it. I'm gonna, I, blew up, I, I blew up uh, everyone's base. I blew up Shazam's base. There was nothing but a giant hole. Uh, I had tons of TNT, uh, gunpowder farm in the ocean. Pretty Pog. Uh, we blew it up. Nothing left. Happy about it. Uh, Gavin was not. Not very happy at all. So what we did... Uh, is he, well, we declared war, obviously. Uh, he declared war right back. He was like, alright, let's fight. Uh, he, uh, 
because I'm not a very good PvPer, I lost like three sets of Netherite to Gavin. It's pretty good at PvP. I'm not. I'm not good at anything other than Redstone. And I get too much credit for Redstone, so we can leave it at that. But that's what happened. Uh, and we'll get on to the uh, Golden Bandits. Back to the war. The war was pretty cool at that point. The war between uh, Pog... Pogmania. I can't remember. Pogtopia or Pogmania, based off the game SMP. We're just knockoffs. We're just children playing playing a block game. But it's fine. It happens. So, Feyland and whatever, and Pog, I'm just calling them Pog from now on. Uh, we were at war. Uh, we moved really far away. I built a really good looking base. I'm real proud of that base. I'm proud of a lot of bases I built. I'm a good base builder. I mean, nothing looks like it's just the, the what's good. Like iron looks good in my opinion. Iron and red, like iron redstone. That's just me. So what happened was we had a really cold war. We built a base in the sky, in the Nether. It was found out pretty quickly, but Gavin never really caught onto it. And Manta, who I later learned was actually going against us. I mean, we never gave him our actual base cords, because I was always skeptic about it. <laughs> skeptic, non believer. But then, we, we just kept saying that Manta's, we, we first moved to Manta's bunker. Like, we, Manta's bunker was kind of a big thing. I kind of ruined it, though. Sadly. Sorry, Manta. If you're watching this. Sorry about it. But then, moved away. Things got real stale. We couldn't do it anymore. War was called off, and then we move on to Safe Haven. Oh boy, was Safe Haven fun! Safe Haven, boy, was that fun! It was a big passion project for me. Uh, there was a couple people, couple people there. It was Phelan, uh, Pog, uh, I think Susland was there too. Pretty sure Susland was the other country. Uh, they weren't very very important in any of this. They only had I think they only had they had they had one chance for war, but Skeptic, who was the judge at this point, uh, stopped it. We did some democratic things and voted on it. I wasn't there because I was uh, probably doing homework or, I don't know, playing Rocket League or some stupid stuff like that. Minecraft is life. So, safe haven. I brought in all my shulker boxes full of iron, and we built some big towers, like huge, huge towers. Built two of them with some uh, blue stained glass we put in the middle of them. They looked really big. Uh, I want to get stream lights and put them in and make chandeliers, but it never really worked out because the server was reset by then. Uh, but it was fun. I built a big frick chamber for villagers. I built a really cool village trading hall. I'm really proud of that. Um, I did some other... I built a secret base in Safe Haven underneath it. No one found it, which I'm real happy about. Uh, it means it worked. Yeah, it was it was fun. Uh, Manta. I liked hanging out with Manta there. We put some things in Safe Haven that should never be set on YouTube. Anyway, uh, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, but sadly, the world started to get corrupted, uh, uh, and Gavin was bought a server to wipe on. So we wiped the server, and we started anew, uh, but that was kind of the history of the, first, the second SMP, the one I was a part of. The first one didn't really matter, because I wasn't there. I wasn't not there, so it didn't matter. I'm the best. I'm the best Minecraft player. Yes. But I'm bad at everything else. So. Yep. Anyway, it was... It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, uh, I will be posting another video soon about the uh, the current uh, situation of uh, the Gavin SMP. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little history lesson, and uh, I hope to see y'all. Uh... I also another tidbit. Um, if you ever want and go watch the full on who's in which team and stuff like that, I would recommend going watching Sleeping Blanket, and uh, probably Manta. Manta's a fun one to watch. Uh, they're fun people. Uh, go watch the videos now, or don't. It's up to you. But I I highly recommend it. They're good.